Uh, Chris, Chris says, uh, do you think Putin may resort to using nukes out of desperation? And if so, will the West take more active role? Um, I don't think Putin will use nukes in Ukraine because, uh, you know, remember, a lot of Russians have family members in Ukraine. Uh, one of the shocking things about the war is Ukrainians are calling up their family members in Russia and telling them what's going on in Ukraine. And the Russian family members won't believe them because they completely, like I guess some of the people on this chat, they've completely bought into Russian propaganda. Completely bought into Russian propaganda. So they don't believe their Ukrainian uh, you know, children or, or, or cousins or uncles or whatever. They just think they're lying to them. But a nuke you can't hide. Radiation could easily drift towards Russia. Radiation could also drift towards the West. So I do not believe that Putin would use nuclear weapons in Ukraine. Uh, the, only, uh, the only time Putin would use nuclear weapons is against the West. Uh, and, and this is a real fear, I think. I, I think the probability is very, very low, but you know, I've been wrong about Putin before, right? Um, but if Putin is so desperate and, and he thinks that uh, the only way for him as an individual to get out of this is an all-out war with the West or a preemptive strike against the West, then he could conceivably launch nuclear weapons. But I just don't think he or the people around him or the generals uh, in Russia are suicidal. I just don't see any of them committing suicide because that's what it would mean. If he used nuclear weapons in Ukraine or anywhere else, it would be the end of Russia and certainly the end of him uh, and the end of many of the people surrounding him and the end of the people. Uh, I mean, that's, in, in today's world, that one act is completely unequivocally unforgivable and the world would not forgive it. And he would lose, well, we would all lose a nuclear war, but certainly he would lose, but he would lose a conventional war against the West. Any attempt by him to attack the West and get the West involved in this war, war would mean that he would be crushed within days. People don't have a conception of how powerful Western armies are. And, and to the extent that it took America, I don't know, three weeks to conquer Iraq, that was only because the, it, the whole thing was slowed down by every, every possible attempt made by the Americans not to kill civilians, even at the expense of getting Americans killed. The, the, the Americans placed a higher value on the lives of Iraqi civilians than they did on the lives of their own soldiers. But if it was all out war with Russia, forget it. Russia wouldn't survive more than a few days. Thank you for listening or watching the Iran Brooks Show. If you'd like to support the show, we make it as easy as possible for you to trade with me. You get value from listening. You get value from watching. Show your appreciation. You can do that by going to iranbookshow.com slash support, by going to Patreon, subscribe star, locals, and just making a appropriate contribution uh, on any one, of those, uh, any one of those channels. Also, if you'd like to see the Iran Book Show grow, please consider sharing our content and, of course, subscribe press that little bell button right down there on YouTube so that you get an announcement when we go live. And for you, those of you who are ready subscribers and those of you who are ready supporters of the show, thank you. I very much appreciate it.